Welcome to a public episode of Toilet Philosophy, Toilet Philosophy, Toilet Philosophy. Okay, wow, look at this, guys. This is wild. This uh, hasn't happened since, like, um, I don't know. Go back in the videos and find out for yourselves. Give me a second while I take a break for my very loyal and much appreciated Patreon fans. Okay, so this is gonna be a super freestyled toilet philosophy because I honestly don't even know um, what I'm gonna talk about, but the first thing that came to my mind was don't do drugs, kids, because I'm coming at you live from the courtroom. Okay, well, obviously, there's not a toilet in the courtroom, and that's not obvious because some of you are literally going to ask if there is. Um, no, there is not, but there is in the courthouse. Thank goodness. And, well, I'm here to tell you that um, doing drugs is bad. No, actually, I think I want to state the opposite. I want to... Um, bring awareness to uh, different plant medicines that are making a sweep across my country and who knows where else, but um, magical mushrooms are on the rise. They are getting um, decriminalized and and um what's the word decriminalized and something or other um and states all across the country which is really really radical because if any of you know me you know that i am a magic mushroom advocate um and now i just recently started reading a book called the immortality key by brian something or other and <sighs> Well, I just made it through the introduction, so I can't actually tell you anything about the book. Um, but basically, he goes on a 12-year journey to find out if plant medicines are the religion with no name. Um, and he has never ingested plant medicine, so I'm really excited to listen through this book to hear about his trip to the Vatican and to Peru and to all these places where he really digs deep into plant medicines um, I've had my own journeys with plant medicines, and that's, I guess, more of um, a Diary of Diaries episode, and I said toilet philosophy, and what is my philosophy for this episode? Um, I think that my philosophy, quite honestly, for this episode would be to um, ingest safely. So something that I recently came, uh, something that recently came up for me, I was in a was in a like very large Zoom conference meeting with other um, psychedelic practitioners. And immediately I had said that I wanted to be a psychedelic practitioner in the clinics. Not immediately. I said I want to be a psychedelic practitioner in the clinics when they open in my state. And immediately a woman got triggered and made comments about it being whitewashed, lab white coat or lab coat whatever. Um, some of us need that. Some of us need that. It's, it's fine and dandy to, to ingest recreationally, but some of us, it's not legal though. Some of us actually need to be in a clinical setting and me, the way my brain works, I would love to be in a clinical setting where I can help others in a controlled area where I can look at brain scans and I, we don't have to even consider the environment whatsoever. I mean, of course, the environment's going to play a factor, but the point of the clinics is to give a safe space so that we can um, heal whatever aspects of the person's mind and soul they want to heal. And so <sighs> ingesting safely is so, so extremely important. And I guess to to really dig into the philosophy for these last couple minutes of this video, I would tell you that, you know, meeting God is, is so extremely likely while 
ingesting plant medicines and it happens for a lot of people and you know you can go pretty deep you can go pretty deep within yourself and you can go pretty deep into the the universe and to to all when you're using a mind mind altering substance um and just just to recognize too when i'm talking about ingesting safely is that uh darkness <laughs> darkness is darkness and um according to the book of job in the holy bible uh the enemy or the devil satan he cannot he cannot harm us without god's permission so if there's any darkness if there's anything happening while ingesting a psychedelic uh it could very well be a lesson that you have to learn unpopular opinion a very unpopular opinion i know i know that that one's gonna sting some people who hear it and other people probably won't even make it this far to the video so if you do make it to 638 write that in the comments and i will eventually at some point maybe respond to your comment and tell you how cool you are anyway um yeah, we all have a darkness residing within us, around us, whatnot, 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 without getting too deep into that. And just to be able to recognize that that's just another part of life. Um, but do give yourself the opportunity to ingest safely and intentionally. Intentionally is a big one. And if you're doing something intentional to better yourself, just know that you're going to be sent on a whirlwind. It's not going to just be the ingesting time frame that makes you a better person. It's going to be everything after that. It's going to be God saying, oh, yeah, you ready? Here we go. You know, you're going to strap up them boots and you're going to get to walking. Okay, anyway. I think I'm going to cut this one short. Short, got to go. People are probably outside the door listening to me. What the hell? Uh, my editor. My socials. I will see all of you lovelies on all of these platforms. I am becoming way more active on all of them, and I want to start more conversations. So get on any of these, and I am going to do my best to speak in a public forum, meaning I'll be posting for everyone to respond to. Private messaging, eh, not so much my thing. Y'all have a happy July.